So I think one of the things we forget pretty often is that the aquarium hobby has a lot of specialized language. Uh, things like SPS, LPS, uh, and we'll be at the fish store or we'll be on an online forum and we'll all just be talking about it. But I think we forget that the new guy there is kind of just looking around like this going, what are you guys talking about? So today I want to decode some common aquarium slang and acronyms. And to help me out, I have screenshots of actual hobbyists using actual aquarium slang on reef to reefcom A huge thank you to reef to reef for letting me use these screenshots, and a huge thanks to the original posters. Uh, I contacted everybody to get their permission before sharing their question or their comment on my channel. All right, so first up we've got this. I really need to lock that screen. My LFS has these bright green-blue SPS on sale. Does anyone know what they might be? Well, first up, What's an LFS? LFS means live fish store. Some people also mean it as local fish store, but they both mean about the same thing really. It's just referring to the fish store that you go buy your fish from. Okay then, so what's an SPS? SPS stands for small polyp stony. And for reef keepers, Corals have different categories. So you have your small polyp stonies, your large polyp stonies, then you have your soft corals, and a couple of different designation of corals. So SPS, small polyp stonies, are hard corals that have tiny little polyps on them. Whereas LPS, or large polyp stonies, are hard corals that have, you know, great big polyps on them. So now we've got this gem. You heard that right. Looking to rid my tank of Montes. I have several encrusting Monty's that are just taking over everything. I have no way to remove them as my tank is made up of a handful of very large rocks that are very encrusted. Hoping someone is battling them and can ship me an infested frag. Thanks. Monty is short for Montipora. Uh, it's really common in the hobby to shorten the names for corals because stuff like Acropora is quite a mouthful. So we just call them Acros. Or another example are zoanthids. We just call them zoas. One of the corals that we notably don't do this with is euphilia corals. Uh, euphilia corals are things like frog spawn, uh, torch corals, hammer corals. They're LPS corals, large polyp stonies uh, that kind of are wavy in the water. They have long tentacles and are really pretty. And people have what are called euphilia gardens, which is basically a rock where you keep all your euphilia coral so they don't sting your other corals. But the way we shorten coral names like Acro for Acropora, I really think we should call euphilia corals youths. Fingers crossed that that'll catch on after this video and everybody will start talking about their youth gardens. Next up, we've got a couple guys talking about the Tang Police. How about suggesting a Tang Police badge for this forum? But what the Tang Police actually are, are they're, they are, you know, an unaffiliated group of hobbyists that are very passionate. I think passionate's the right word, uh, about the fact that tangs should not be kept in tanks that are too small for them. So for example, if you have a new hobbyist uh, who might not be so familiar with tangs, they get a yellow tang and they put them in a 55 gallon, which is too small. The tang police are the people on social media and forums that will come in and they will just tear that guy down. They will be like, you dummy, you can't put a yellow tang in a 55 gallon. And you know, you can't, it's not a good idea, but there are nicer ways to do it. So the tang police are the people that have, uh, you know, a very strong reputation for being very passionate about tang aquarium size. The last one I want to talk about is GSP. And this one is especially fun because it has Two meanings. Uh, the first thing it refers to are green star polyps, um, and they are just a really pretty coral that is sometimes considered a nuisance coral. It can just take over a tank, it can take over a rock, it grows very fast. But in my opinion, you know, it's a really pretty coral. I have it in my tank. Um, but GSP can also mean green spotted puffer, depending on which community you're in. So for example, if you're in a group that's talking about puffer fish and somebody says, hey, everybody show me your GSP and you post a picture of your green star polyps, you know, everybody kind of makes fun of you. I mean, that's never happened to me, of course. Definitely not once, not once. And uh, definitely not twice. 
So if you see people talking about GSP, you know, check which group you're in. If you're in a reef keeping group, they're probably talking about green star polyps. If you're in a puffer fish or a freshwater or brackish fish group, they're probably talking about green star polyps. So just make sure where you are before you speak or you'll end up like me and everybody will make fun of you. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. You know, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if there's any other terms, you know, I might do another video like this. This one was pretty fun to do. So if there are any other aquarium terms you'd like to know about or that you're curious about or you think would just make a funny video, uh, drop them in the comments below and I'm probably gonna make a follow-up to this. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. And just as a quick reminder, all of my videos come with a free resource as always. They come with me. Uh, if you ever have any questions about aquariums or in this case, aquarium slang, uh, feel free to drop me a comment or you can message me on Instagram at Nathan R. Smith writing and I'll get back to you pretty quick. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.